Hi, I'm in Kawaguchi City, Saitama Prefecture. Today, I would like to introduce you to a Takumi who supports the world of neonatal care. Let's go find out. Look at all these machines. Wow. Hello, good morning. This is today's Takumi, Kazufuku Nitta. He is the president of a medical equipment manufacturer. The company makes a kind of ventilator that helps newborn infants breathe. This ventilator has helped increase the survival rate of extremely premature infants, those weighing between 500 and 1,000 grams, from 20 to 90 percent. How did the survival rate increase so much? I compared Nita's ventilation method to the conventional one. This is how a conventional ventilator works. Go ahead and touch it. It's quite strong. Stronger than I expected. The pump opens and closes, pushing oxygen gas directly into the lungs of a patient. Now, here is the method we developed. Feel what happens. It's so different! It's vibrating! This method was designed to suit an infant's lungs. It doesn't expand very much at all. Instead, it vibrates. To put less strain on the lungs, it does not send oxygen gas directly into them. Here's the secret. The vibration device uses a linear motor and a piston. It vibrates 900 times a minute. And these vibrations make the lungs vibrate as well. CO2 goes out of the lungs and oxygen comes in. This method is called High Frequency Oscillation Ventilation, HFO Ventilation for short. This gentle ventilation method puts less strain on premature infants and it has helped doctors in countries including the U.S. and Germany. Nita was born Tran Ngoc Phuc in Vietnam, but he became a Japanese national. He came to Japan in 1968 as a foreign student. When the Vietnam War ended, Nita decided to stay in Japan for political reasons. He joined a medical instrument maker and worked hard to develop mechanical ventilators, which at the time were known for often malfunctioning. I thought that I needed to do the kind of work that only I could. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to survive in Japan. Nita bet his future on mechanical ventilators, setting up his own company in 1984. Together with doctors active in the field, he developed the high-frequency oscillation ventilator. But the process led to some soul-searching. For a long time, I was troubled by the boundary between science and God, pushing to save lives, but then leaving people with after-effects. I thought about the families who would have to face that, and I really wasn't sure whether I should continue. This is the Sawada family in Kawaguchi City. They were helped by Nita's mechanical ventilator. These are Sho and Ryo, three-year-old identical twins. On June 25, 2008, their mother, Fumi, 26 weeks pregnant, went for a regular checkup. But they found a problem. Blood was only flowing to one of the twins. The doctors decided to do an immediate delivery by caesarean. At birth, Sho weighed 1,280 grams. Ryo weighed 704 grams. Both were immediately taken to the neonatal intensive care unit and put on Nita's mechanical ventilator. They were connected to so many tubes, and the monitors all just kept beeping. The doctor said, if the two can just survive the first three days, Show the firstborn was in worse shape. His body was swelling severely.
During that time, I was praying that if even one of them could survive, could pull through, that's how I felt. Both the twins pulled through. Four months later, the twins left the hospital. Their mother, Humi, says that Nita's ventilator saved her children's lives. I bet that Shaw wouldn't have made it. His lungs wouldn't have held up to the pressure. He probably wouldn't be alive. It is the smiles of healthy children like Sho and Ryo that keep Nita going in his work on mechanical ventilators. Ah, I'm overwhelmed. Now there are no words. My dream now is to make a tiny ventilator that a person can wear, like this. If we can make it that small, a sick person can live just like anyone else, have a normal life in society. I want to develop a device that would make that possible. <laughs>